Hey everyone, this is Jake here with Brown Lures. Today I'm going to show you how to rig a devil eye on a true lock jig head. First, I'm going to go over a few advantages of using one of our true lock jig heads with our products. Our hooks are all black nickel coated, so they'll last a lot longer in salt water. Another thing, as you can see here on the head of the lure, the head of the lure is actually matched to the profile of our baits. This is whenever you're fishing through the water, say maybe hit a little grass, it's not going to snag on the front of the lure. It's going to be a nice streamlined shape for fishing through shallow water. Next thing, we use premium holding wire along the shank of the hook. This is not going to come out and it's going to hold your lure on the jig head all the time. Another great advantage of using our true lock jig heads with these lures, the lure is going to last a lot longer. The lure won't pull off the shank of the hook and cause the lure head to get messed up and then have to snip it and maybe even glue it back on. The nice thing is it's going to stay on the shank of the hook the whole time you're fishing. It's going to definitely greatly increase the life of your devil eye. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to read the lures. First off, you're going to take one of the true lock jig heads, it doesn't matter what size. The 16th is a little bit smaller, but today I'm using an 8th ounce true lock jig head. What you're going to do is take the point of the barb, center it in the front of the lure, poke it in, and you're going to push straight down just about where you get just past the eyeball on the inside. Once you get here, you're going to want to try to curve it a little bit around the shank of the hook. You'll feel the lure is going to want to try to turn, but keep it straight. And you can see there's a slight seam on this lure. What you're going to do is feel for the barb and point it towards the seam. As you can see, this the barb is barely starting to poke out here at the seam of the lure. Once we're at that point, go ahead and just push the lure straight onto the shank right till we get the holding wire. Once you're at the holding wire with the lure, we're going to put a little bit of pressure on the lure forward and also spin the lure on the jig head. It takes about three or four turns. Just make sure you go ahead and spin it nice and slow. Don't hook yourself while you're at it. And once we get up to the head of the lure, just make sure you're nice and snug up on it. You'll see that the lure is perfectly on the axis of the jig head. And now you're ready to roll.